Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we're rounding up all the Rainbow Six News over the last week or so. And normally this would be a very quiet week for Rainbow Six Siege News and normally I wouldn't have a roundup video today, but I do because we've actually had a lot. So first up we've had the Frost rework that's been on the test server, what they specifically call the Lab Test Server, and that allows you to test something that is coming in the future, so this will be coming for next season. And even though they delayed this rework for a full season, it does seem like it's pretty much the same as what they showed off at the beginning of the year. I was really expecting them to extend the revive time or something and they haven't. So it's still just as controversial as it was. Although I do think the controversy is a little bit more than it really should be, but that is just the Siege player base. But certainly my expectations is that we will see it tweaked before the new season launch, which is about a month away at this point. However, there's also the possibility that it never makes it in and they just decide not to go with it at all. Up next is a patch date. So we know that we're getting the point two patch on June 27th. If you've been following Rainbow Six Siege for a very long time, you know that they don't usually let us know ahead of time that patches are actually coming. Sometimes it's the day off the patch that they actually let us know. So quite interesting here that we're getting a point two patch on Tuesday. And the only feature we know about this patch so far is that it's going to get a squad skill calculation update which, from reading it, could be about making the game more balanced. It sounds like if you've got a mismatch of MMR between your party that you're playing with, it'll kind of average it better, but I don't know exactly what it's doing behind the scenes. And of course, we don't actually know the calculation of how that was done before this patch anyway, so it's like, as a player, I've really got no idea what the actual outcome is supposed to be here. I just presume it's supposed to make more balanced games. However, this does reveal something much bigger, which is the next Rainbow Six Siege event. So we got a teaser, which was this, and it was released middle of the week. And because we now know when the patch is coming out, presumably it's also going to launch on Tuesday. We'll probably get a trailer on Monday. And this is the return of a previous Rainbow Six Siege event where you throw throwing knives all over the place. And presumably the gameplay will be updated a little bit, and of course more paid packs as well. And talking about cosmetics, let's talk about the board game skins. These were previously sold with the board game as being completely exclusive. Exclusive was plastered all over the market material, still is for this board game. And now they are actually starting to appear in the Rainbow Six Siege store because apparently Mythic Games, the creators behind the board game, didn't read the contract with Ubisoft and realized that they only had two months of exclusivity. Or what might have actually happened is they went, wait a minute, if we say these are exclusive forever, maybe more people will buy the board game. So these are now starting to show up. We've just had the first one appear, which is the Nuke one, and there are seven bundles in total, so expect them to show up. They also have the addition of weapon skins, which were not in the original bundles too. But I did a video on the Core Rush, I'm going over these because they were actually selling on uh, eBay for $600 for the bundles. So these things were the rarest and most expensive skins in Rainbow Six Siege, and now very shortly, everyone will be able to buy them for relatively cheap as well. But let's now jump to console. So Mousetrap has been bypassed. I've done a full dedicated video on this, but the basics are that the detection system is still working. It's picking up these people playing on mouse and keyboard. However, they have figured out a way to leave the game or something like that at the right time so that they don't get the penalty of the input delay. So they can effectively play with mouse and keyboard, even with the warning up game after game after game without the uh, actual delay impacting them whatsoever. So there's going to need to be a patch and a fix for this. I don't know if it's going to come with point two or if it'll come at a later date. My feeling here is that Ubisoft might be a little bit too slow to actually get on top of this and it may take a couple more patches before we get there. So I'm not expecting it with point two, but obviously all fingers crossed that we get there. And then we also got a post on performance, freezing and stuttering. So if you were hoping for a patch to fix all this stuff, that ain't happening. They just went through a list of stuff that you should do, like verify your game files, make sure your GPU drivers are up to date, all that stuff. So unfortunately, if you're having performance freezing and stuttering issues, then yeah, there's no real fix. Go through the list. If it doesn't work, then unfortunately, there's no patch coming to save your day. And yeah, that's the news right now for Rainbow Six Siege this week. There'll be links in the description below if you want to check out other videos on the Core Rush channel going over the specific stuff as there definitely has been more than expected this week. Normally, there's nothing. And then this week coming, we'll see what the point two patch gives us, and we should see the event for Rainbow Six Siege kickoff as well.